How many of you use Wi-Fi in your phones? Too many. Let's consider a scenario that all of you are connected to the Wi-Fi radio base station deployed in this room. Now, as you leave the room, you might notice losing connection to this Wi-Fi base station and you'll be connected to the one deployed in the hallway. You might notice that it may take up to eight seconds to reconnect to the network. What if I tell you that it takes only few seconds to save the life of a patient having a cardiac arrest? What if I tell you that you can avoid an accident in less than two seconds? That's all possible if you have a fast and reliable communication system. My research is about supporting user mobility in wireless networks by providing an efficient connection without any lag to the mobile users. My research is compatible with all kinds of wireless networks, including Wi-Fi and cellular. Next generation technologies require a reliable communication system in almost every sector, including healthcare and transportation. The doctors and the ambulance services teams are required to have communication devices where they can be notified for all emergency cases. In transportation, the statistics state that there are 160,000 road accidents each year in Canada. Such a huge figure can be reduced with the help of vehicle-to-vehicle -vehicle communication that prevents road accidents by sending real-time emergency alerts to the drivers. But again, these technologies require mobility support. My PhD thesis provides efficient user mobility management techniques that can help reducing the service delays and will ensure communication reliability. Here is one example that involves base station selection based on the user speed. In this technique, a slowly walking pedestrian will connect to all radio base stations as soon as he enters the coverage area of each base station, while a fast moving vehicle will skip associating to one out of every two base stations. This is because a car spends around two seconds in the coverage area of green base station, but the connection to the green base station itself may take up to three seconds. Therefore, it's worth skipping the green base station. This simple approach can give us up to 70% gains in the user data rate and may diminish the delays by 50%, which is more than enough to avoid an accident. As per the census data, 48% of the total population commute every day in Canada, while the number of people moving indoors would be quite higher than that. My research will not change the world, but will benefit the people living in this world. I thank you.